So oh, this is a part two to my episode four on capturing in Todoist. What I wanted to do is I wanted to feature the Chrome and Gmail functionality of Todoist separately because the way that Todoist integrates with Chrome and Gmail is absolutely fantastic. And I think it just deserves an episode all of its own. So. Let's start off with what we have from our apps icon. You can download the Todoist um, app for uh, Chrome and if you click on that, it will take you to a full screen version of your Todoist uh, list. And it's the web version of Todoist. So that's one version that you could have. But one of the amazing things of Todoist and Chrome integration is if you look at if you go to this top right hand corner, you'll see that I have my Todoist um, function here. I can click on this and it'll take me to my inbox so I can see everything straight from my Todoist, uh, from my Chrome web browser. Todoist can be with you everywhere. But, and I think this is a little gem, is what you get when you download the extension for Gmail. Oh, before we go into that, let me show you how to do that. You just go into down the bottom corner, web store, and in the web store, you can type in Todoist. Uh, I can't spell Todoist. And you will get a load of apps. Now look for, make sure that the app, the, the extensions and apps that you are uh, downloading actually come from todoist.com. What you want is Todoist for Chrome, and I have here Todoist, Todoist Task Manager, and Todoist for Gmail. I actually I don't know why that's not showing because I'm sure I have that one, but I have these two, the two extensions, uh, Todoist Task Manager and Todoist for Gmail. Make sure you get the Todoist for Gmail one because that is fantastic. Let me show you how that works. So if we go into my inbox and over here I have uh, my inbox and I have the original, if you remember, I have the original um, email that I set up from my previous recording. Now, if I wanted to add this one or send this one, I could go um, just up to here, add to do it, to doist, and just add the task. It could not be simpler than that. Absolutely amazing. And also while I'm in my G Gmail and I'll I don't advise you should live in your inbox, but all said and done, maybe you'd have to live in your inbox. So if you click on, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you have Todoist, you can click on that and you can go into all your Todoist, like all my nine now inbox items. I can go into my individual projects. I can see my tickler file. Everything is there in that one window. So if you are one of those people who almost lives in Gmail, then you must download the two uh, applications or extensions for Chrome. They are absolutely fantastic and can really speed up your activity. Like I said, I really felt that Chrome needed its own unique video because the functionality in here is just brilliant. I'm not a big Gmail web user. I tend to run everything through my Apple in, in, uh, email program. But if I have a lot of email to deal with, I do tend to go into my, uh, I do often go into my uh, Gmail account and go straight from the web. So remember, if you download the two extensions I showed you, uh, you get the Chrome, uh, the icon up at the top here, which is fantastic. And you also get the, and you can just add tasks from here straight away. If I go into my inbox, uh, again, you can see here, add task, add website as task. There are so many options. Uh, you must, if you are a Chrome user, I strongly recommend that you download these applications because they are just fantastic. Thanks for watching this quick video. Uh, I'm not going to call this episode five because it's just an extension to episode four. So if you like episode four, part two. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the bottom and I will reply to you. Thank you very much.